Hello everyone, welcome back to No Man's Sky 2.52 Super Chill Permadeath. What did I miss over there? Nothing. <laughs> uh, today we're going to go to the space station and sell all the stuff we have and we're going to grab the terrain manipulator and come back here and get rich. <laughs> Not in any kind of hurry uh, on this save. Probably be a little while before you know we go to the next system. Uh, really into just enjoying this one. Uh, four planets, two moons, uh, medium economy. And let's see here. Whoops. <laughs> I'm stuck in the atmosphere. I just happened to see it. The space station. Usually I have to go into first person to find it, but the sun was shining on it. Let's answer this first. Identify yourself, you're not alone. Follow the coordinates. <laughs> uh, is it on our planet? That That's cool. If it's on our planet, we don't have to be particularly careful. Rock and roll! <laughs> Second best song in the game. <laughs> Purple space. No, I don't see any travelers. <laughs> Let's see here. I think it's the other way around. Should do blue this time. We'll change that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think I like it that way. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Alrighty. Oops, I forgot the gloves. <laughs> Skipped over the gloves. They look kind of funny. <laughs> there we go. How's that? Yeah, that looks like permadeath. How much money do I have? Plenty. <laughs> we'll grab that. What do we got? Tender water, life support, and shields. We have a huge, huge B class rifle. And we have. Oh, we have an S class scanner. We need to work on that. <laughs> Here's some of it. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see if there's a ship to sell this to so we don't crash the economy. And we'll come back up here and look for uh, nanites. 
uh, or navigation data. Is there going to be a ship? <laughs> Would really like to have one. Uh, let's see. Oh, those are geodes. Good. I have 140 nanites. Well, I don't want to wait forever. <laughs> they don't appear to be coming. I thought I heard a ship come in, though. Alright. As soon as I turn my back. <laughs> Hopefully this won't be too much to ruin the price. Alrighty, let's do it. Uh, vortex cubes. Ionized cobalt. Uh, I don't think, well, five wheat. And a little bit of rusted metal. There's copper. Alright. Let's go see what the other guy has. The other guy... <laughs> the other galactic trade terminal, which I always refer to as the other guy. Oh, here's a ship. <laughs> See, we don't need uh, launch fuel because uh, we have a gamma planet and 250 to hydrogen. But... Uh, Saving time not having to pick up... Oh, here's chromatic metal. Saving time having not having to pick up uh, tritium might be nice. Mosul hoping to find a uh, radiation module. That'd be cool. What all these guys have? Did I get any nav data? Just the one. Uh. Well, we'll get some more. Oh, I didn't check to see if there was a table right there. Here's a commercial cartographic data map. Is there a table here? No? Jeez. <laughs> I'm getting this engine roaring sound. It's frustrating. All right, let's let's go. <laughs> let's just go. Go start having fun. Let's see what else we have here first. We have a moon on our planet, which is aggressive sentinels. That could be fun. a fungal planet and a frozen planet regular frozen planet that looks like another lush oh a uh, single lush also aggressive sentinels <laughs> jeez <laughs> I forgot to see what time I started. Did I scan that planet? Is that the same one? Yeah, that is the same one. All right. Signal source. You can uh, pick up all kinds of stuff to buy, but, you know, there's plenty of supplies down here on this planet to keep us going. Sure, it won't be a problem. Let's see if 
there's any place nearby to land. Looks like there might be some uranium right there, so we won't worry about it. We'll just go get some. I think I have a launch fuel even. Oops. Nope. Thought I did, but I don't. That's alright. Oh, look, our first sentinel. Here's some more nav data. Kagon Fen. Put that in high capacity. Save it to sell later. Oh, dihydrogen jelly. Awesome. Sparking wires of the machine generate a signal. Morse code. Oh, no. 161616. <laughs> a base computer and a terrain manipulator. Here's the base computer. And there's that. I need to make two carbon nanotubes. Go. Alright. Now our goal is to... Oh god, the rings right there look like a aurora for a second. Our goal is launch fuel first. There's some copper and sodium. And... Uranium right there. And we don't really have room for the uh, bones yet. We only have five slots. So let's set off this map. See if we get lucky first time on a minor settlement. Trading post. Good grief. <laughs> uh, I suppose we could live at a trading post, but they're pretty noisy. All right. Uh, cop uh, uranium. There we go. <laughs> Such a noisy neighborhood. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that was rough. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Since it's the planet that uh, we spawned on, we don't have to worry about uh, predators. There's some more sodium and oxygen over here. We are going to have to get some fuel uh, for the, the terrain manipulator, though. So we'll go ahead and do that. grab a little bit of silicate from the ground here. You don't get as much as you used to, so... That should be enough. We'll turn that down. This will just make it so that we can take off and land a ton of times. We don't have to spend all of our time on the ground this way. I prefer uranium just because when you use the launch fuel capsule, it takes the whole capsule. Uh, when you use uranium, it only uses as much as it needs to fill the engine. So it's a bit of a savings in energy, you know. Right. 
Alrighty. This would be a whole lot more super chill if uh, Suit Lady would super chill out. How much is that? 354 is plenty. Alright. Uh, how far is that? 374. I'm mainly looking for um, the buried tech modules that are with machineries. And you can't always see the machinery, though. Uh, sometimes you can only see that there is buried technology there. I think that was copper. Or sodium. I don't know which. They're hard to tell apart in the dark. That one's copper. Grab a little bit of that. We're gonna need it eventually anyway. Goodness gracious, suit lady. Stop using so much. <laughs> Once you get a, uh, a module going for radiation protection or whatever hazard protection you're using up, uh, she doesn't talk until that module runs out of juice. <laughs> so as long as you keep it full, she keeps her mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like using them. <laughs> 206, let's see. Let's grab a bit more here. I think I missed, there was a buried technology uh, module up there with the ship. We do it now. Now I have too much. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Whippy plant. Don't even think about it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's see. So it's sitting here. So the buried module is going to be directly off this line if you can't find it. Uh, nope. There we go. Put that on medium. Grab some more of those. We have six of those now. Yeah. All right, let's transfer the uranium straight over. Get it out of the way. Looks like we have room for a lot of stuff, actually. You wanna launch? There we go. All right. Looks like we are going south. Try not to miss anything. There's some gamma weed right there. Trading post is 10 minutes away. <laughs> Those crazy maps, man. <laughs> they, <laughs> man. It's like, really? Why would it give me something so far away? What do we got here? That is a transmission tower. Not the best place to live either. <laughs> that magna gold, I can turn that into pyrite, I think. I think you can reverse magna gold. Find out when we get there, wherever there may be.
What's that? A hollow terminus? Even on a really rugged, mountainous planet like this, it's still easier to see stuff on the ground uh, than it would be on a lush or a frozen planet. prefer a minor settlement. Did I see something over there? I eh, guess not. Can't see on top of these things either. Freighter. Anything cool around it? No. I don't think I would have seen that resource depot from this altitude, though. What do we got here? Ah, manufacturing facility. Another beautiful sunrise. Yeah, I guess we'll go live at a trade post for a while. <laughs> Until I can find a manuf or a minor settlement. <laughs> Oops. Gotta get above the clouds. I've had saves where I lived at trade posts. It's not that bad. You just don't want to live on the trade post. Because <laughs> they don't always render. <laughs> uh, my first series I did was called I Did It My Way. And uh, we lived at a trade post there. And uh, it was always uh, like a running joke. It was like a question every day whether that trade post would render or not. <laughs> hey, what do we got over here? Transmission tower. All right. It's a nice big uh, patch of sodium right there. Look at that. Oh, come on. Radiant killer. Let's land somewhere. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anything on Portin? Uh, let's take all this and that. What's that? Uh, can't take the radon, huh? I can leave the pure ferrite behind. Take the radon with me. And we need that. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can make some... <clears throat> make some... Um, Pyrite. Look at that sodium up there. We'll grab that pretty soon. Good grief. You can put your um, your base computer down here on the ground. That's not a problem. But uh, if you put it up here on the trade post, it'll Sometimes it'll be hanging in the air, and sometimes it won't be. <laughs> if that doesn't bother you, then <laughs> go for it. <laughs> Hi. All right. Do a little bit of refining here, I hope. Get in there. And let's see. Yeah, we sure can. Make some gold out of that. 250 is probably plenty. We'll sell the rest. There we go. Gold is worth quite a bit. I wonder if it's worth more than uh, the Magna Gold. 
Let's see, those are worth 24,000 each. And two of them made 250. Is that right? Uh, yeah, two of them made 250, so 125 is worth 24,000. Oh, it's worth more this way. Hmm. What did I do? Leave it down there? <laughs> Excuse me, dude. First, I need to make the pie right. There we go. And sure, I think let's make another one so that we're not standing here. And let's see. We can run that super fast. And I think aronium makes. Is it silver? So aronium is worth 25,000 each. It does make silver. And it makes. Oops. I didn't do that right. Uh, one of them makes uh, 250 silver. So those are worth 25,000. The silver's worth 46,000. Interesting. That is very cool. I don't think that I ever knew that before. I never looked at it because I usually just sell it, you know. Here's a long nose, uh, swooped wing, swept wing, swept wing, is that what it's called? Corsair winged fighter. <laughs> All right, let's sell the silver. Uh, so 1,000 silver, 153,000. Uh, radon's worth more than nitrogen. It's interesting. Rusted metal. And extra gold. Get a lot out of that. That's pretty cool. Don't need that cobalt. What do you got for sale here? Uh, pugnium, I guess. All right. Nice doing business with you, dude. <laughs> All right. Oops, that's not done. Not quite done. Good grief. <laughs> Go ahead and start running the copper. Meet these guys since they're yelling at me. <laughs> bosh, bosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, trade symbol. Give. Alright. Oops, that's the GTT. You, Ensign. <laughs> Just gonna sit there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't, can't hire you. I don't have, I don't have a weapons terminal. <laughs> An armorer at a trade post. For goodness sake. <laughs> There's a Viking symbol. Interloper. Another guy over here. I like this uh, explorer. <laughs> Look at his head. Uh, travel symbol. Where? I guess that's a travel symbol. <laughs> Good grief. Uh, friendship symbol. Help. All right. There's our pyrite. Put that back there. Grab that. And chromatic metal is not done. This is a, I guess it's pretty common. There's a C23. There's an A29. 9.9 million units for an A29. That's not bad. 
Look at that. We already have a million units. That's awesome. What is that? Oops. Is that an abandoned building? Haunted terminal. Awesome. Some nanites in there. And there's some chromatic metal. What else do I have on me? Let's move that to there. Pyrite and chromatic metal. Some extra copper. That's all the silicate I have left. Wow. Alright, let's pick up this refiner. <laughs> that wasn't a bit dangerous. <laughs> more oxygen. Alright. There's another building there. That's down that hill. That's only 140 feet away. Go grab that. Here's some more navigation data. Apparently we're going to need some. <laughs> If I had stopped at that trade or at that uh, manufacturing facility, I might have been able to get that uh, thing, that Atlas V1 pass. Oh, look, there's a even better place because I bet there's a broken machinery right down there. Let's go get the nanites. I want to get my hands on that scanner so that I can start making, like, real money. Radiation protection. Stabilizing. Just looking for the thing. The whippy plant. I've never, like, I tried one time to collect all that residual goop, and honestly, it just... You gotta have so many refiners going, really. Mary Lizzie does it pretty successfully with the personal refiner, you know. I don't think there's anything else right here. There's another building. Looks like it has its own sentinel. It's probably a manufacturing facility. We're in a really good area right here. Might be helpful to fly around a little bit. Did I feel the launch thruster? Let's see if we can see what these buildings are. We'll highlight that one so that we don't get lost. Now this one here is a uh, minor settlement. There it is right there. Ah, it's perfect. All right, now I'm happy. <laughs> <clears throat> we call this home. <laughs> ah, cross your fingers, there's a good multi tool in here. Be a good class. It's got a crystal. Ah, oh, it's only C class. That's too bad. What's in here? Uh, microprocessors, metal plate. We'll need those. Uh, not bad. So no, there's no machines in here. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I mean, that's good stuff. Sodium diodes and oxygen filters. That's good. All right. All right. <clears throat> I think we'll just drop the base computer right here and uh, do we know that guy oh look at that ah he disappeared darn it I think that was the last animal too here we go is that the last one nope it wasn't two species left all right, we'll put the base computer right here. 
Oh well, we'll find them. We'll find them tomorrow. That was pretty cool. I just a minor settlement right over the hill from a trade post. Excuse me. Go ahead and get these plans. This way. <laughs> Weather warning. Incoming storm. Please computer online. How many more could I do? <laughs> We need to kind of have a place where we're <laughs> semi-protected, anyway. Because there's going to be a storm right now. <laughs> oh, we did it. Okay. <laughs> no? Got to be kind of right up against this wall. There we go. <laughs> all right, you guys. Uh, when we come back next time, uh, we'll get some more stuff done. <laughs> I want to thank you all so much for coming along. Uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great day. <laughs>